Investigator Masa Saidi broke this story, and Masa, I'm starting to see a trend, I think. It's definitely curious, Keith. Good evening to you. Now, just a few days ago, a new law was signed to help homeowners with their property insurance. Barry Gilway calls those reforms historic and a huge success, and he says it's one reason he's decided to step down now. I've been with citizens for uh, closing in on 11 uh, years. At the Citizens Property Insurance Board of Governors meeting Thursday, longtime CEO Barry Gilway announced he's stepping down soon by March at the latest. Gilway has been at the helm of the state's insurer of last resort during some of the most turbulent times in Florida's market. His announcement comes just days after Florida lawmakers enacted sweeping property insurance reforms. Gilway calls those reforms historic. I'm just grateful that this has come to fruition during my tenure. It's a goal, frankly, we have been working on for many, many uh, years. For us, it's not only a legislative success, but it's a huge success, I think, for citizens. In 2012, Gilway became the president of Citizens. At the time, the company had more than 1.4 million policies. Gilway worked to reduce the number of policies and the company's exposure. By 2017, success. Citizens was down to just 420,000 policies. But in recent years, as private insurers went bankrupt, Floridians were forced into citizens. The number of policies exploding. In an interview in July, Gilway explained his concern. Citizens is growing. Why is that a problem? The whole objective is, is to basically hold the exposure down so that we're never in a position to have to assess. Essentially, an assessment is a tax on all Floridians. Because Citizens is backed by the state, the company's financial troubles get passed down to you, Florida taxpayers. So Gilway is 77 years old. He's been in the insurance industry for 50 plus years. And in that time, he's really become a trusted voice for lawmakers. Now, once Gilway formally steps down, his temporary replacement, we're told, is going to be the company's current general counsel.